Hello, it's Linda here. My Facebook page is Call Me Crafty um, and I'm bringing this tutorial to you today. I haven't made one for a long, long time but I posted some pictures of these little projects up on my Facebook page and quite a few people asked for instructions so I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how I've, how I've made this little box. It's got a really, really cute little opening here um, and it holds six scented tea lights so let me just show you now i originally saw a box like this um there was a tutorial for it by betty j and she'd made one for a valentine's card which was lovely but i decided that i would adapt the measurements to fit these six six tea lights so i'm going to go ahead and show you how i do it Okay, so first off, you're going to need a piece of uh, cardstock which measures 9 inches by 6 and 7 eighths of an inch. I'm using Blackberry Bliss cardstock by Stamping Up. It's a really nice quality actually to work with this one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you where you need to mark your score lines. And you want to put the card with the long side long side of your card along the top here of your scoreboard and your first score line will be at three inches okay and then your next one needs to be what's that something under there <laughs> next one needs to be at six and six and one eighth of an inch okay and then you want to turn your card and on the short side you want to score at half an inch one and one eighth of an inch five and three quarters of an inch and six and three eighths of an inch okay now put your card back in long ways I'm just going to show you how I do these particular little score lines what you want to do is come in at five eighths of an inch and score down to the inner score line at the top there then flip your card like so make a little mark at the five eighths of an inch um, point on the scoreboard put your card back down here and you'll see you've got a little notch so if you score that one up to the inner score line they will match nicely and do the same on the other side so at five eighths of an inch score down to the inner line flip your card make a notch flip your card back round and just coming down here like so okay now we're going to do some cutting now what we're going to be doing is getting rid of this square and the um, section next to it up to that score line and we're going to do that all the way around so I'll just quickly go around and show you One more section to go. <clears throat> okay, so now we've got rid of those, what we're going to do is cut up this next score line up to that inner section there. And we're going to do that on each side of the, of the cardstock. I need some bigger scissors really. I don't know why I'm working with these, they're too small. Finally this section. Ok, 
okay now when you've finished doing that what you want to do is just gently um, use a home folder and just gently crease all of your score lines don't overdo it you don't need to card really is beautiful to work with. There we go. Now then. Now you've got four little squares on the end here of each section. Okay. Now this is quite important how you do this. What you're going to do, take the outer one and you're going to cut in just over halfway on the square and you're going to do it so it's facing this piece of your cardstock okay so just cut over halfway careful not to go too far and then on the other side you're going to do you're going to cut on this side towards you facing you you're not going to cut in um, you're not going to you're not going to cut that you're going to cut it this way so both of your cuts are going to be coming in this direction towards you and you want to do that on the other side as well. Okay. Right. Okie dokie. So at this point now, we're going to fold in all of our little tabs. I'm just going to go around and square off the corners. Okay. So. Need that one and that one. That one and that one. And then I'm going to finish off by rounding off these four corners here. So one, two, Oh. Okay, so your box is getting ready now, it's almost ready to be assembled. So what you want to do is turn it around like that, bring these flaps up, okay, and if you just lock them like so, we're going to undo them in a minute, I'll show you why. Right, so you've got your card assembled like this with the tabs. Now this is the point where I'm going to show you how I get the measurement here, which means that I have a nice crisp and sharp closure on my box. I've tried doing it, you know, using measurements along here, just randomly um, scoring it, but I find the best way for me is to take your box like this, bring this flap here up and just here where the card just literally over the top of this little lip here I pinch with my finger it leaves a little mark and I do the same on the other side so literally just where it meets here at the top I pinch okay and then undo your cardstock again undo the little tabs this is the tricky bit. Okay, and lay your card out like that. And what you should see here are the little notches that you have just made. So put your cardstock back in, grab your score tool, put it nice and straight. And then where you've made that notch, just score. Okay, and the same the other side. to try and keep it nice and straight. I'm trying to get it nice and straight, the score line. And you will just find, if you crease that now, ready, with your bone holder, you should find that just gives a really nice, crisp and neat closure to your box. I'm just going to gently score those, okay? And then you just want to put your card, your box back together now. So 
what I'm going to do. Lock the little tabs so that they're facing outwards like that. Okay, and I just want to give the box a bit of rigidity now here. Um, when Betty J did it, she just left it as it was because it was just holding a lightweight card and I could see why she did that. But this is going to be holding six tea lights and um, they're a little bit heavier. So you just want to um, just want to strengthen the sides here. So I've run some double sided tape here along these two, these two sections. Scissors. A bit over the edge there. Just get rid of that. Okay. And you just really just want to bring the sides up. Okay, so that's the little box constructed and it's just ready now for you to, to decorate. Right, so to decorate the box, I'm going to be using the sentiment for you from this set which is called Chalk Talk. This is a clear mount set by Stamping Up. Okay, um, just bring in a bit of scrap cardstock here and I'm going to be using Blackberry Bliss ink by stamping up. This coordinates with my cardstock. So stamp out my sentiment and then I'm going to be using the label bracket punch. This is again by stamping up. Um, I'm just going to punch the sentiment out like so. Pop that to one side. Now I'll cut here a little piece of card. This measures two inches by four and a quarter inches. And I've decided to use this pretty little um, leafy stamp. And this is called Bordering Blooms. Again, this is a polymer stamp by Stamping Up. Um, that's quite a nice useful set to have if you like borders around your card. So, I'm just going to ink that one up really well. Just bear with me, I'm just going to grab a spare bit of paper. Okay. I'm just going to line that up like so. And there we've got a pretty little border. And I'm just going to round off the edges on one side. Okay. Bring the box back in. I'm going to grab some double sided tape and just run it along two edges and I'm just going to fit that centrally on the top section as straight as I can Okay, it's such a pretty little stamp, isn't it? So that's that done. Now, this is the bit where we're going to put our holes in to make the closure. Um, 
I'm going to be using my cropper dial um, and I've already set set it at where I'm going to want how where I want my holes the the um, how far in I want them to be so I've already set it there I'm just going to literally eyeball it um, one hole there and then one on the other side roughly equal like so then you want to close your lid like so and grab a pencil hold your box closed and use your pencil to mark the card below like that so you see I've got two little dents there okay and then bring your punch back in using the right side Rid of those little bits, we don't want them. I've got to adjust this slightly for this now. Right, find your hole or your, your pencil mark, sorry, punch the hole, do the same on the other side. Should now match when you want to um, when you want to do your box up. Okay, well what I'm quickly going to do is punch out a few little decorative flowers. Sorry about the croaky voice; I've had a cold. Um, and I'm using this little punch here, a little one by stamping up. So I'm going to punch out three or four of those. I'm gonna just stick them on the little border that I've stamped out. Okay, so just dot them around like so. Stick that on there and then bring in your sentiment. Grab some dimensionals for that. Pop one on the back. Well, let's get our let's get the tea lights in first. Okay, so they fit in there, lovely. And you just want to feed your ribbon through. tie a pretty bow 
I'm going to fail miserably now, but you'll get the idea. I think. Oh dear. <laughs> I hope you can do better than me. There we go. Just have a little fiddle with it when you're happy with it. Just snip. Okay. And I'm literally now just going to finish off with a few pearls. So, pop on there. And pop one in the centre of the little flowers. Oops, that one's decided to go for a little run. Actually, I'm going to didn't work. I'm going to take this one off. And I'm going to put a flower there. Oh dear, what have I done with my blue dots? Yeah, I think that will look pretty. Just there. little flower here so I'll just gonna pop a little a little pearl there and there you have what I think is a really neat little box I love the closure I hope that you found this quite easy to follow um, like I said, I'm really rusty with with making videos um, but I'm made a little vow to myself that I'm going to try and get back into it. Um, I've got quite a neat little um, chocolate treat box for um, a little Valentine's gift so I think that's going to be my next um, video so do watch out for that. Have a go at this. Um, hope you enjoy it um, and I will post up details of all the products that I've used to make this um, with a link to my um, online shop at Stamping Up. Thank you for watching and I will be back to see you again. Bye.